Today on Tux Tech TV, we're going to be discussing Open Razor. It's a software program that you can use to control your keyboard on your Razor peripherals. Next on Tux Tech TV. back to the action well for starters I'm um, just going to show you guys a quick list here of the functions um, there's a drop down on the top panel up here that you could change the brightness the effects and all that I'm going to leave it on static and um, just going to switch through the colors right now it's on white I'm going to switch to the uh, signature green and switch to purple and what I'm gonna do is change the effects real quick um, since it sounds static let me go to uh, reactive so a quick little glow under each key that you press and um, switch to wave shows the spectrum of colors and let's do starlight Again, it's a bunch of random colors. Uh, I don't know how well the effects are being picked up on my secondary camera, but um, let's turn the brightness up to 100%. Yeah, see it a little better. But anyway, I will switch this back to static and switch this to my color of choice, which is blue. And just to show you guys real quick, when you download the application, this is what comes up, the uh, polychromic. Uh, right now, this polychromic um, app right here is what shows up in the panel up top then when you select this one it gives you the uh, additional functions that are right here um, I could manually change the brightness there switch it off completely leave it at 38% um, overview shows you real quick of this the selection that you chose and with the different um, lighting effects you could choose right here also uh, let me see did it to the reactive yeah I've done that one before uh, wave I've done that one uh, breathe I don't think I selected breathe before yeah starlight I did that one already switch back to static and it select reselects the color that I chose initially and there's different modes that you could select here and you could also go through and um, uh, set up macro keys for game modes like if you're playing some kind of MMO type game you could do all that right there and then go through your general functions here and there's a whole list of things that you could do with this software 
as you can see the functionality is there you just have to set it up to that the, the the way that you want it and um it's pretty cool i like it i'm gonna close that and um that'll pretty much do it here's the list of you go to the uh, open razor I believe it's openrazor.org and uh, this is what the website looks like and here's a list of all the different peripherals that you have functionality with even with the Razer gaming laptops the different functionality with changing the colors and all of that stuff and the you know all of that is available for you and these additional peripherals where you can set up macro keys on these um, secondary devices here and a majority of the mice that are available from Razer as well as the mouse pad the Firefly mouse pad you could have that change to whatever spectrum of color that you want it to which is pretty awesome and within the settings if there's a color that it's not achieving manually you could go into the settings and you could switch it to what you want it to there's mil a spectrum of millions of colors that you could switch it to and uh, these are all the devices that work with it even this um, core product here this is what you put a graphics card in and plug it in via uh, Thunderbolt USB-C Thunderbolt connection to a gaming laptop so that you could use a desktop grade GPU on that gaming laptop and yes it is functional within Linux which is awesome and um, here's the different variances of Linux that you could download Gentoo that's really crazy that they have the software available for Gentoo users, OpenSUSE, Fedora, Arch, Debian, which is the mother of all Ubuntu-based uh, Linuxes. So yeah, I'm using Ubuntu, so I would select from here and then you could copy and paste these into a folder that you could use later on to, like for instance, if you're a, a distro hopper, you could put this in a, a folder a file folder and you know keep it in your home folder so when you do change to a different distro LTS distro this is readily available for you to reinstall again but um, I'm gonna have these in the description below so for those who want to try out this software um, you pretty much don't have to go to this web page and download it if you're an Ubuntu user or Linux Mint user this will be in the description below for all the other um, distributions here you guys will have to visit the website on your own merits and get that done yourself all right so that'll be it peace out enjoy and I hope this works for you later Thank you.